Yo, yo, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make this simulated bread. There's actually no simulation in it. It's fake again, just like the water. This is just using shape keys in sculpting. And I got these photo scans from Thomas on Blender Kit. All of his details will be in the description. One thing with shape keys, if you're familiar with them, kind of a time saver. But if you're animating things, you don't have to actually put a rig on them. So basically you just click the plus here, add a basis. And after this, you won't be able to do anything to it, so you gotta add another one. And this is just gonna be your your base shape. If you're trying to go into sculpt mode, you can see nothing works. So I don't know why it's like this, but if you're sculpting, you have to turn the value all the way up first. And then basically we're just gonna be reverting this from a bread that's already baked back to dough. Best tools that I found were smooth, flatten, and pinch. Just flatten out the whole thing. You'll see on the photo scan, some of them have more details. They kind of look like noise where there's more details. Like for this one, all these extruded points are gonna have more of those. So you can see for this one, it was split down the middle and that's where most of these points are. So I know to add some sort of crease down there. So I'm just gonna keep sculpting it down to make it a bit smaller. You wanna go around like half the size almost. Just make sure it's round. Now you can see when I turn up the value on the shape key, it'll grow. It kind of spreads out when, when an actual bread is baking, this would split down the middle. So I found a, a cheat that you can use is just to use the pinch and just pinch it down the center. And that'll kind of make it look like it's separating once it's already baked. So pinch it like that and you'll see it'll make like a crease. You can just use the flatten to flatten it down. And you can see now when you turn down the value, kind of looks like more like it's splitting. It's still not super realistic, but it's better than it was before. It's not splitting at these cubes, it's more of just growing out of them. So I want them to look like it's kind of splitting just like this one. So again, I'm just gonna draw over all these lines as best as I can. Okay, so you can see here, there's a little bit of lines that I added. That's pretty much the whole simulation for it. Now we're gonna get onto the texturing. And for the texture, if you're using PhotoScan, you would already have some image on it. Or if you were making your own, you would have your own texture that you made. For the dough, I just used BSDF with these two colors. I'll put the hex values in the description too. And then a subsurface of 0 0.07, and here's the radius for it. Just play around with the radius with your lighting. It might be a little bit different. Mine turned out to be green and blue, so I had to play around with these settings a bit. I used a noise texture with color ramp on the roughness just to get some swirls in the dough. And then for the displacement, I did a Veroni with color ramp just to get these bubbles. Let's see there. Not super realistic, but it adds a little bit of realism from a distance. Pop open a mix shader and plug it into both textures and then the surface. So now you can change between two different materials. And I'm just gonna go to the first frame and change the value all the way to one. because This is what we sculpted, so we changed it back to this dough-like object. And it's on zero for the material. So it looks like dough now. I'm just gonna keyframe the mix shader and I'm going to keyframe the shape key and I'll go to like frame 40 or something and just turn both these to the complete opposite. So I'll turn on the texture and turn off the shape key and just keyframe both of those. And now when you play it, it should look like it's simulated. You can always play around with these settings and add more detail. You can even add more textures in between so it's not as much as just a fade. And you could also add more shape keys in between this so it looks like this is splitting more than just growing. So that's pretty much the simulation. It's really easy to make. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just put them in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys later.